Hey, it's Jordan with TYT, TYT Politics. Happy uh, return for Labor Day weekend. Hope you had a nice one. Uh, obviously, not a great day. Uh, President Trump has ended the DACA program. DACA was put into place by President Obama. It protected about 800,000 um, uh, undocumented immigrants from deportation. Uh, they were called the Dreamers. And Trump basically ran on uh, race baiting against uh, these undocumented immigrants. Jeff Sessions, who's his attorney general, uh, fought against DACA and the Dreamers uh, as a senator. Uh, and they are, quote, winding down the program over the next six months. Uh, Trump is kind of trying to have his cake and eat it, too. He's trying to say he ended the program, but he's also trying to uh, kick it down, the, kick it, kick the can down the road to Congress so that if Congress uh, were to do something uh, to basically stop the Dreamers' deportation, uh, Trump could say, well, I tried. I ended it. Uh, it. And Congress decided to act, so I did my job. That's essentially what Trump's doing. He's trying to have it both ways. I think that in his... I, I don't know if I could read Donald Trump's gut, because I don't know if he has one. I don't know if he has a soul. But I think in his gut, I don't necessarily know if he truly wants to get rid of these Dreamers. But I do know that he wants to serve the red meat to his base of white supremacists, anti-immigration folks. And by doing this, he's giving them what they want, just like he gave them what they want in response to Charlottesville. So uh, Emma is going to be live uh, tonight uh, in New York City. There's going to be uh, there's go there is already uh, protests outside Trump Tower uh, against this decision. We'll be live there probably in the next hour or two. So stay on the Facebook page. Emma will be live with Ty. Um, but politically speaking, I don't think this is a good thing what Trump did, but I actually think there's more of a chance that there's going to be some type of bipartisan compromise met uh, to, to prevent these dreamers from getting deported uh, than there is that there won't be. And I'll tell you why. The Republican Party already, which would mean Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan, I don't think these guys are, are, are good politicians. I don't think they're good lawmakers. I don't think they're good people. But they're not stupid. If you remember after 2012, the autopsy of the Republican Party said, we need to become more inclusive as far as immigration. We cannot be the party that's repelling Latinos. We cannot be the party that's basically uh, repelling a lo the fastest growing demographic in the United States, which is Latinos. Obviously, Donald Trump running did not help that. If not for Donald Trump running, most of the leading candidates, uh, Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio to a certain extent, um, who else? Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, John Kasich would have been for comprehensive immigration reform. It just so happens you had a circus animal, used car salesman, come in and run on this bigotry and hatred. So if you put aside Trump, the Republican Party knows you cannot be a national, you cannot be a national party and basically be deporting 800,000 uh, undocumented immigrants largely Latinos and Latinas. You can't do that. You're, you will not be a sustainable governing party that wins elections. The only reason Donald Trump was able to win is he was facing the weakest Democratic candidate in American history by the polls. If Donald Trump was facing Joe Biden, if Donald Trump was facing Bernie Sanders, if Donald Trump is winning Elizabeth Warren, I don't think we're having the same conversation right now. So what the Republican Party, Mitch McConnell, Paul Ryan, uh, used to say Reince Priebus, they know that this is the death of their party if they allow this to go through. They know, even though they have condemned Trump on a lot of things, Trump is, the, the noose will be around their neck uh, linked to Donald Trump. So I think that they have more, um, especially with Donald Trump's poll numbers, which are going to go now, which are going to now go down further. DACA keeping these uh, undocumented Im immigrants from being deported, polled, I believe, close to 60% uh, of people believed these undocumented immigrants should al be allowed to stay. So you have Donald Trump already has low polls. You have the polls that say, we want these undocumented immigrants to be able to stay in the United States. You have the Republican Party <laughs> basically facing very, very tough odds of keeping the House and Senate in 2018. And now you just pissed off Millions of uh, minorities and Latinos, the ones that are able to vote in 2018, the ones that are able to vote in 2020. So politically speaking, Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell, I keep saying Mitch McConnell, 
if their if their goal is to keep the Republican Party operational, you cannot you cannot be the party that is deporting eight hundred thousand people. It's not possible. By the way, I don't think the Democratic Party is so swell either. They could have done a lot more uh, on this. Obama had two houses of Congress uh, in 2009, 2010, 2000, 2009, and 2010. Didn't try for immigration reform. He, he left it. You know, he wanted to push forward a Republican health care plan first and make compromises with Republicans. So Democrats aren't completely, you know, uh, without fault either. But the bottom line is Donald Trump's a Republican, Mitch McConnell's a Republican, Paul Ryan's a Republican, and if you are looking just at demographics, you cannot win midterms, you cannot win presidential elections if you're only going to get 10% of the Latino vote. And that's what they're looking at, probably less with this. So I think, I can't predict the future, but I think you're probably going to have what they call in D.C., bipartisan compromise, which is usually crumbs for the worker bees and the rest of us. It's not really a compromise that helps anyone. But I do think you're going to see a compromise that prevents uh, the immediate deportation of these undocumented immigrants. I do think you're going to see a compromise that um, probably restricts some of the good things the DREAM Act did, but doesn't go as far as deporting them. And that way, Donald Trump could say, well, I, I tried. I told you I was going to do it, and I did it. It's Congress that, that uh, you know, acted. And by the way, Congress should have acted on this about 15 years ago. They have kicked the can down the road over and over and over and over again. So what I'm saying doesn't help a rightly scared undocumented immigrant today. What I'm saying doesn't help a traumatized, scared shitless, angry, confused uh, undocumented immigrant today. Uh, and I understand that. I mean, I'm not an immigrant and I'm not a minority, so I'm not going to pretend to know what you are going through. But nothing I could say is going to make those folks less scared. But I will say, politically speaking, if Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell, I don't agree with anything they do, but I will say Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell is not a dumb dumb. He's been in, he's been in D.C. for two decades. Same with Paul Ryan. They know you that Donald Trump's actions today will be, they will carry that with them long after the Trump circus show is gone. Now, you do have the Tea Party faction. You do have the crazy zealots uh, in the right wing of the Republican Party and House members who say, get rid of them. They came here illegally, get rid of them. They don't have any human empathy. They don't possess that. But there is more... I, there is more between the Democratic Party, which on this issue, I'll give them credit. They, I don't know any Democrats that's, that agree with what Trump did today or publicly will say they agree with it. But between the entire Democratic Party and enough, if you want to call them uh, centrist or moderate Republicans, if those exist, I think you can get bipartisan compromise done. And there is now a gun to Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell's head because... Trump, I don't I forget like wind down the the uh, Dream Act and wind down uh, DACA. They're gonna be, they're gonna start sending ICE out soon, sooner than you think, because that's who these people are. That's who Trump is, and that's who Sessions is. They don't care about these people. They don't care that the, these people have lived in America most of their lives. They don't care that these people have gone to our schools. They don't care that these people are productive parts of our economy, even though. These right-wing idiots keep spreading propaganda that they're taking jobs. They're not. Plenty of studies show they're not. So I would say if, you, if, if, if the Republican Party or Trump voters watching right now have any interest in having a Republican Party that wins in the next two years or four years or eight years or two decades, I think something's going to get done. Something's going to get done, uh, a compromise, so to speak, to prevent the deportation of these people. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. There is no political reality that the Republican Party can sit idly by and let Donald Trump deport 800,000 people. By the way, even if Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell say, 
it wasn't our decision. This was the president's decision. Well, you run the House. You run the Senate. It's on you to pass legislation if you don't want to see nearly a million undocumented immigrants rounded up and sent to homes they do not know. Remember, most of these people grew up in America. They don't know the homes or the villages that they're going to be sent. So let's, I don't think Paul Ryan or Mitch McConnell will strike a compromise for the right reasons. I don't think they're doing it because they care about undocumented immigrants. I don't think they're doing it because they give a damn about human dignity or America as a, as, as a, you know, a giant um, melting pot. I do think they care about self-preservation. I do think they care about the Republican Party existing decades from now. And they're smarter, smart enough to know it's not going to exist if Trump basically gets rid of the Latino vote for the Republican Party, which what he did today will do that. We're a soon-to-be majority-minority country. There will be more, more minorities in this country than white people, uh, I believe, over the next decade. Yes, Lori, I can't, I, I can't stop saying Mitch McConnell. I don't know why. Anyway, he doesn't deserve for me to call him by his real name. That scoundrel. Maybe it's his neck I'm talking about. You know, I, I consider that its own person. Anyway, make sure to tune in. What time is it now? It is about 3.40. Emma and Ty will be headed over to Trump Tower over the next hour or two. We will be live on Facebook covering that. There were already arrests in front of Trump Tower earlier this morning as undocumented immigrants and dreamers uh, willfully, intentionally got arrested, putting their body on the lines to show that this isn't right. I will say uh, former President Obama has already come out. He called this decision wrong and cruel, um, which you would expect since he, before he passed executive action. So stay tuned. TYT Politics on Facebook. Uh, Emma and Ty will be live and uh, you will be hearing from me uh, later or tomorrow. Thank you. For, thank you very much.